think is a, a part of my life. I need to eat, I need to take rest, and then also I need to run. I am addicted, really. It's a kind of drug. Ethiopian runner Haile Gebre Selassie is widely regarded as the world's greatest distance runner of all time. Haile is the most talented of them all by a distance. With an unrivaled legacy of 24 world records, he's traveled the globe, winning races, winning hearts, and winning new respect for his homeland. For the last few decades, Ethiopia, we've been um, always exposed as, as people of famine. And he, I think, gave us a, a sense of new hope, a sense of new image, and a, a self-determination. Haile survived a childhood of great hardship before rising to international prominence. My secret, you know, just to become successful, I think because of my background. I don't want to back to, you know, that uh, uh, lifestyle what I had you know, when I was young. Looking into the area where he grew up, you would definitely be tempted to say that this is a guy who, who shouldn't have made it in the first place. He may have conquered the world of track, but Haile's most coveted title continues to elude him. To break a marathon record is very important. Because, you know, marathon is a king of the distance. From Addis Ababa to Berlin, we trail Haile on his quest for the crowning glory. One day, I can break the world record. Surely. I feel that. But I don't know when. <laughs> It's three weeks before the Berlin Marathon and a typical morning of training for Haile Gebre Selassie. Uh, just before I go to training, you know, just I have to go to pray a little bit because I'm a, I'm a religious person, I'm Christian. You know, always, you know, just giving me, you know, just the music before I start training. We start uh, quarter to six, six. We do another uh, three weeks, you know, for uh, Berlin. Uh, I told you, you know, just our preparation, it's non-stop. Harley won the Berlin Marathon last year, but he has set a new goal for 2007, to win it with the fastest marathon time ever. He's ready for any challenge, but he never tells you that he's going to win. Uh, Berlin, it's a nice course, and you never know, maybe, Run for a time, you never know if it will be world record, fantastic. Haile trains in a group of Ethiopian runners under the guidance of their coach, Dr. Yilma Berta. Well, I have many athletes, uh, many marathon runners, and I'm very satisfied on them too. But uh, with Haile, uh, a special guy because uh, uh, he wins and he listens what you say. The hill is not a... Uh... A normal hit. It was very high, and since they are running up, uh, you know, to, it seems like uh, to the sky. <laughs> uh, what we see here, it is uh. a little bit faster, and so we are very satisfied uh, when he's doing this, and uh, he might uh, run good race there. <laughs> Years of success have allowed Haile to build his own home on the outskirts of Addis Ababa. Now it's lunch time. Always, you know, when it's lunch, I come here to see kids and the family. And most important in my life, of course, it's family. I'm really very careful with that. Yes. Yes. This is traditional Ethiopian food called injera. It's made out of them. This is Rich of iron, it's good for running. Yeah, and, to make uh, me strong. Yeah, to make me strong. Thank you. 
and uh, we have a uh, no different sauce. The sauce is a little bit uh, hot. With sporting success comes wealth, and the opportunity to invest in his country. Haile and his wife Alim run a number of businesses together, including a gym and a cinema. This is the first private cinema in Ethiopia. Before, no one cares about Ethiopian film. Now, no one cares about you know, just uh, Western film. I like a comedy. I want to laugh. <laughs> I'm not very comfortable, uh, honestly speaking, you know, just when I wear you know, just a suit. For me, you know, just it's better you know, just to have you know, a kind of track suit. He created that kind of ambition and it's important imp input in our social culture where um, people have to be determined and, and work on it hard. He is uh, both generous and uh, he encourages people for self-sustainable and so forth. He did not believe in charity per se. For Haile, education is paramount. He supports a local orphanage that offers vocational training. My philosophy is how to help people, not to give him money. Don't give him a fish, show him how to fish. You cannot change a pe a people's lives by giving money. You can change a people's lives by giving work or giving uh, a kind of education. After you know, they getting like uh, 18 or 17, they help themselves. That's what they are doing here. Haile's determination to promote employment and education demonstrates a passionate sense of national pride, expressed most strikingly in his celebrations of Ethiopia's third millennium, seven years after the rest of the world. While the rest of Addis Ababa parties, Haile hosts a traditional family night. Everybody has to sit together, even if you have a guard or workers, whatever, you know, just we have to together. I mean, this is the day everybody has to be equal. That is a very special tradition. Since 2,000 years today, I, mean, I have to distribute for everybody, all the men. No, no, it's not the girls. It's not tradition. Come on, girls. As fireworks explode over Addis Ababa, Ethiopia hails its new millennium. But will it hold a new record for Haile Gabriel Selassie? In part two, Haile takes us back to where he took his first strides.